YouTube, Facebook, forum friend, what's up, Bobby C. Back here with a, another custom handgun quick look. Today we are looking at my semi build Chuck Rogers Kimber. This was built uh, somewhere in the time frame of probably 2015 or so. And um, I picked this up secondhand. Um, this is not a full house Rogers as it sits today. Um, but it does feature many of the staple um, aesthetic pieces that Chuck is known for. So let me quickly just jump in and talk a little bit about what this gun is, why I bought it, and then we'll talk a little bit more about... Um, what I plan to do with it. So this is a Kimber. I think this is the custom two model uh, short safety deal. Um, back when I got into 1911s, I was, uh, I liked Kimber uh, quite a bit. I had a bunch of them actually, and um, never really had any issues with them. And I've always said that, you know, I like the brand and, you know, although they are pricey for what they are, um, I never really saw any major downside other than um, the price. With that said, um, it is cool to get something that kind of brings me back to um, what got me into the platform originally back in, I don't know, 2010 or so, and uh, that was Kimber. So if we look, you'll see um, Chuck Rogers' signature golf balls on the front strap. Um, this features a, a pretty high cut um, frame, um, some golf balled mag release a short trigger we have uh rogers carry um cuts ball cuts and his uh his signature i guess you call that bob nose with crowned barrel and polished um, we have a tier one front sight uh white ball um we have tier one rear sight which is extremely functional. Um, the way that silhouette sits with the U-notch is extremely fast. Um, Chuck did some cleanup work on the back. You can see the golf balling on the grip safety and the mainspring housing. Chuck's signature golf ball grips, or I'm sorry, golf balled in like biohazard slash uh, Rogers Precision logo grips. Um, it's got a full dehorn package, so there there are no real rough edges on this thing. Um, you can kind of see the way he chamfered out and round butted the frame and mainspring housing. I'm gonna apologize for the yappy dog in the background, but yeah, that's that's it. Um, Chuck goes through and does a full. Um, parkerizing and then covers that in Cerakote. And like I said, this gun um, doesn't have any rounds through it. Um, I got this because it was a chance to get into a Rogers gun. And then um, I really was hoping that I can send this to Chuck and have him go through it and add some more goodies. Uh, Chuck Rogers is a very busy man, just like all the guys that are doing custom gunsmithing and 1911 work. And um, who knows, maybe I can convince him to take on a side project um, in due time. So that's it. That's the uh, that's the Kimber Rogers, not full build. Um, this does have a little reliability work done on the inside, um, but nothing nothing crazy. So when I send this off to Chuck, if, if that is allowed to happen, um, I'd like to get a Chen, Chen Magwell. I'd like to get some additional uh, wrapping on these ball cuts. I'd like to get Chuck's uh, lower dump safety, replace the, the uh, slide stop, a cart barrel, and um, some golf balls up top, and possibly a frame weld up. We'll see what happens. I don't know if that's in the realm of possibility or not, but that would certainly turn this into a full house Rogers build and uh, one that would then fit into my collection nicely. Not that this one doesn't, but um, it's just missing a few of those key things that I would personally want 
out of a, a full house chuck build. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This one is very cool, very nice for what it is. Um, extremely comfortable in the hand and um, yeah, I've shot it and she shots, uh, or she shots, she shoots great. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the quick look. Um, just a quick example of what Roger's work looks like. There's not a lot of this floating around on the internet, or I should say on YouTube. Um, but at the same time, I have a handful of uh, pistols done by Chuck. So stay tuned and um, I'll show you what those look like. Take care guys, enjoy your uh, weekend.